All right, everybody, we're gonna do this video on the new Thermal Grizzly uh, P Phase Sheet PTM. As you can see, Thermal Grizzly came out with their PTM uh, Phase Sheet. It's basically a phase changing um, thermal pad that when the computer gets hot, it like turns into a thermal paste, and when it gets cool, it turns back into a thermal pad. So uh, PDM first started with Honeywell, um, and then you see other makers making PDM now. <laughs> but it was originally Honeywell, and we're gonna do it on this laptop, uh, the IBM Mini Carbon. Uh, as you can see, there's the specs of it. I've been running Heaven Benchmark for about, I would say, 30 minutes now, and you can see the temperatures are creeping up to 95, 94, 96, 97 degrees Celsius. Uh, this computer runs uh, Core i7 13 Gen uh, 1370p perf uh, performance core, and as you can see, it's uh, it throttles at 100 degrees. The max it's getting it's got was 98. It looks like it's creeping up more and more. So we're going to be installing uh, this uh, PDM phase changing uh, thermal grizzly on this computer. And then I know that PDM takes about a day for it to subside and to absorb and to actually get performance out of it. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, quickly install it, let it cool for a little bit, and then run the Heaven Benchmark. As you can see, we're getting about 36 frames per second and slowly creeping up 97, 98. So eventually it will reach 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, thermal throttle and possibly the computer will shut down as a safeguard mechanism so we're gonna install PDM and no I don't have any USB fans installed the fan is disconnected that's just the power cord and that's the uh, headphone jack I have headphones installed on it so let's get to it so on this one the max it got was 98 remember that number let's take this computer apart and insert some PDM all right, as you can see here, I have the laptop disassembled. Uh, there's a cooling fan, copper uh, heat sink spreader, and the processor, SSD, the battery, and I believe the RAM is soldered on somewhere. You have another expansion slot for something on there. But I currently have cryo sheet, my thermal grizzly. It's another, um, kind of like a graphite pad, kind of like icy diamond graphite pad installed on there as you can see um i've tried thermal paste uh thermal paste from thermal grizzly extreme cryo knot regular uh jc uh four six mx four five six uh zalman i've tried the uh, icy diamond regular thermal paste icy diamond thermal pad minus pad <laughs> um odyssey thermal pad um the knockoff pdm not the honeyball pdm <laughs> and i've tried so many um thermal pastes and they've all failed to cool this laptop down i even tried um liquid metal uh, conducto knot and if people think i'm just playing around i'm not as you can see i tried conducto knot on this i tried this on my lg gram on my other Dell 2-in-1 laptop and I tried it on this and unfortunately it still reached 100 degrees so this was useless to me it's supposed to be the best liquid metal but it's not um, I tried regular cryonaut the original formula but that one didn't even last the pump out effect was really bad I tried cryonaut extreme you can see these are open already <laughs> it didn't last either um, another cryonaut extreme that's new I haven't opened it yet and I even tried the other uh, pad, Carbonaut, and unfortunately it still didn't hold up to the performance I needed for the uh, laptop. Uh, but the, um, but the uh, cryo sheet you see here is the closest thing of it keeping it cool. Hopefully our PDM uh, will help as well. If not, we'll just keep it at <laughs> a cryo sheet and we'll keep a laptop fan underneath it. Uh, but yeah. Let's open up the cryo sheet and see what we get inside. I mean the PDM and see what we get inside. All right, here's the PDM, guys. You can see it's like a pad, a gray pad, light gray pad. Here's the instructions. Uh, PDM sheet. Uh, you can tell here, clean surface with uh, phase PDM will come into contact. 
cut this sheet to size of the contact it should be cut to larger than the contact surface so it'll be larger than the surface you see there um remove the protected film install radio recorder manufacturer uh and i think that's it <laughs> that wasn't even that much okay well these are other languages that it has face change russian i guess ukrainian and japanese chinese spanish so let's take a look at it it's right there all right so i'm going to remove the cryo sheet and i'm going to cut the uh, pdm uh to the size actually i'm going to overlay cryo sheet on top and just cut uh, the outline of that because that's a little slightly uh, over the processor and we will do that right now it's also recommended that you probably can freeze this in your freezer probably like 24 hours to have it like to have to be easily cut people have done it before but we're, i'm just going to cut it like this and install it on there uh, so let's do that right now um i think it's still hot is it hot we got up to 97 98 degrees <laughs> celsius okay so let me do that right now as you see i put the pdm on there a little slightly over but you can see i kind of messed up the top there <laughs> um but fortunately i cut it uh, oversized so that shouldn't be a thermal throttle issue because it's cut it's covering the whole uh, processor and the graphics chip on there uh, it's really hard to actually take the uh film from this off uh, i'm gonna try again um <laughs> I'm going to see what I can do. If not, then I'll have to cut another sheet off if I break it or tear it apart. So let me try that right now. Yeah, as you can see, I kind of ruined the first batch of PDM. <laughs> Hopefully I get to use this product because I really don't want it to waste it, you know. So <laughs> let me try again cutting another sliver of this and putting it on there. Hopefully I can do it. All right. I'd call that a success. I got the whole processor covered. There are no um, holes. Maybe there's a bubble here. <laughs> I'll probably fix that in a minute, but yeah, let me try to fix that. All right, as you can see, that's fixed. Everything's clamped down. <laughs> My shit worked, but it's all covered. So let's put this back together again and run Heaven Benchmark. Let's see what we get with Thermal Grizzly's PDM. If not, if it doesn't work out, I know it takes about a day or so for it to feel, uh, fully absorb in there. If not, then we're just gonna go back to the cryo sheet, which is right here. <laughs> That's been actually the most heavy duty uh, pad that I've actually um, tried. And as you can see, it's been through hell. It was kind of like a clear color before, now it's kind of like a black color. Um, so we'll put that away for now and let's put this together and let's run heaven benchmark <laughs> all right before heaven benchmark all the bolts are tightened down all the way i don't know if pdm is conductive i have no idea i think it's not i think it's safe um but yeah let's put this bad boy back together again and then let's run benchmarks and test out the thermals on this thing um, like I've said I've used a lot of thermal grizzly <laughs> a lot of other brands like Zalman Icy Diamond um, GC Odyssey Arctic Corsair XM um, they're all the thermal base for Corsair and none of them have held up They've all had horrible pump out effect and they don't last. My computer still overheats to 100 degrees. So, uh, Crowder Sheet was doing really well, uh, computing the temperatures down, but eventually it does overheat and um, eventually uh, does need to be uh, <laughs> shut down or uh, put a fan underneath, which I do have a fan underneath. You saw my laptop there. So let's turn this on and do some heaven benchmark. All right, there we go. Um, before I run the benchmark, uh, let me show you this computer's uh, specifications that I'm currently running. And this is a, a 13 inch uh, CPU, thin and light. So uh, with a 13 gen core i7. So of course it's going to overheat like crazy. So let's go over here to the tabs and we'll go to the informations. 
uh, CPU, as you can see, Core i7 1370p. Uh, the RAM is 16 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 6400 megahertz or mega transfer, sorry. Eight out of eight, so uh, two gigabytes in each slot, and we have 10 usable or available. We're running a uh, Western Digital PC uh, Sodium, I mean, so, so <laughs> really tiny um, N.2 NVMe SSD, and our GPU is Intel Iris XE graphics, as you can see there. Um, so let's run throttle stop. I have it set to boot. Let's do that, see what our temperatures are now. Our max starting out has been 93, as you can see, and we're hovering at 69, 67 at this time. Uh, wattage is 13 watts, 5 watts, 4 watts, it goes up and down, up and down. So let's put this on top and run the heaven. We'll have it minimized here, not running on full screen. And we'll keep this up here to get our core temperatures right now. They're at 89 degrees. <laughs> Doesn't look so good right now. And we're at 33, 34 FPS right now. And we have full wattage at 28 watts out of 29.4. Uh, so let's run this for a little bit and then we'll come back to it in a couple minutes. I had it running on cryo sheet for 30 minutes before it started creeping up to <laughs> 96 97 degrees celsius right now it looks like it's doing okay but it's slowly creeping up to the 90s already as you can see there uh so we'll come back in a couple minutes and we'll check the progress on this if and then i'll test it again tomorrow because i know it needs 24 hours of run time for it to finally feel fully cure this is pdm it's a phase changing um kind of like a pace slash thermal pad so let's come back in a couple minutes and see we have a full full uh wattage on there we don't have a fan installed so we'll come back and see if that goes up to 97 98. all right we're checking in on the halfway point uh 15 minutes have elapsed and you can see it slowly creeped up to 94 degrees 93 94 degrees and the temperatures, uh, the FPS right now is 43, 44. And remember, we're running Heaven Benchmark maxed out settings, um, windowed mode, so we can actually see the temperatures. But so far, it's not looking too good. <laughs> I mean, it might reach 70, I mean, 97, 98. Uh, the wattage is still good, it's still going at uh, full wattage right now, 27, 28 uh, watts which this chip is rated for up to 30 watts but it never reaches that um but look like it's still going up and it's only been 15 minutes we had cryo sheet on last time for about 30 minutes and it went up to 97 98 degrees so we will check back soon and probably a lot of you are saying oh you knew but why are you running heaven benchmark why aren't you running uh time spy or <laughs> Uh, 3d benchmark or whatever it's called because remember I'm only checking the temperatures on PDM uh, I'm not checking a score and I'm not checking how it performs we're solely basing off of temperature at this time so stressing the CPU and the GPU uh, to see how it reaches and what temperature it reaches uh, is actually better than getting in a score because you won't get thermal throttle it looks like we just jumped to 97 there guys <laughs> So we'll be back in a couple minutes and see where we at. All right, we are actually on the 25 minute mark and you can see now that the max temperature has risen to 99 degrees uh, Celsius and right now it's stuck at 97. Uh, um, so in my opinion, uh, this is less performance than uh, cryo sheet. We're already almost thermal throttling there. We're power throttling, uh, but that had, that's just because the system is trying to use more wattage than it's supposed to. And we just reached 99 uh, C right there. So one more degree, we'll reach 100, and we'll start uh, thermal throttling and power throttling really bad. Our FPS is at 58, 59, 57, 60. But our temperatures, oh, there we go, 99, jump to 99, 96, 99. So... 
it hasn't even been 30 minutes and cryo sheet lasted a lot longer um, on this run. <laughs> keep trying to keep the temperatures down uh, I know PDM sometimes takes 24 hours for it to actually uh, see any results for it because it needs to cycle through I read about that so I will be uh, running running it also tomorrow 24 hours later and I'll probably comment in the comments section uh, what I've gotten or if I gotten the same results or if it's gotten worse or it's gotten better but right now it's really not running that good <laughs> Uh, if it's this, if it's running like this for the, oh, there you go, 99, see that 99, I might hit 100. If it's running the, like this uh, for another day or two of testing, um, then I'm going to go back to cryo sheet. And yeah, I guess uh, thin and lights really need an actual like thermal pad or a graphene pad to on direct to die cooling rather than actual thermal paste or... Um, phase changing paste or whatever you want to call it and yes i've tried them all i've tried cryonaut gc kingpin uh mx icy diamond uh i've tried them all and they've all <laughs> really 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 bad pump up effect and they thermal throttle immediately so in my opinion i would choose cryo sheet uh you see that 99 already it's not even been 30 minutes like cryo sheet has uh, but yeah guys, um, I will update you guys later. I'm gonna run this benchmark tomorrow once it cools again and has some chance to re-harden into a pad. Uh, we'll run it again. I'll comment on the comment section what I get and if it's that bad, that fast. Uh, then I'll just switch back to cryo sheet. But yeah guys, any questions please comment. Uh, and yeah. That's PDM from Thermal Grizzly. It just came out, and I was looking all over for it. Nobody has any data on it, so <laughs> I'm conducting my uh, data on it right now. Solely on temperatures, not on the actual score, but temperatures, how it controls temperatures. And you can see we're about to thermal throttle right now, and the computer probably might shut down. But yeah, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.